John's searching for history in towns and monuments and I'm now in the middle of Nelson, Lancashire, UK. This is close to the towns where I live. So we're going to look at some of the monuments, some of the buildings that go back in time. Right behind me you probably can see is a, a, scout, uh, a scout statue. This is people who died in the scouts in the first world war. Then we have the cenotaph behind me, which is the people who died in the First World War and Second World War. And if you can just see directly, is the new library. So we're in Nelson, Lancashire, UK. If you can see the scouts there, so they got involved in the First World War and quite a few young boys died. And that's what the cenotaph's all about. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take you around to some of the people who died in the First World War and show you some of the names. Walk this way. Here we go. So it's there where there's the wall of people who died in the First World War. Let's go and investigate some names. It's amazing really. But this town, Nelson, is a old wool town, uh, mill town if you like. Uh, it's only been here about um, a couple of hundred years old. The actual stones came out of a massive quarry on the top side of Nelson. And it wasn't called Nelson. It was called Marsden, or words very close to that. So Marsden, it was called the original town from Nelson. But here we are with all the different names. Look at these people here. We can get a couple, if you can see them. So I'm going to switch you over. Here we go. So these are some of the names in the first and second World War that died in this town. So now we're just going to go to the cenotaph where the cross cenotaph there is to commemorate the people that died in the second and well the first and the second world war. Here we are behind me. The cenotaph. So that's where everybody puts the poppies to, to remember the people who died in the first and second world war. The great war, the first one. So I think quite a lot of quite a lot of villages have had these already. But here we go. I don't know if you can see any writing. Let's have a look. I think it's all seemed to be covered up at the moment. Okay, well, what we're going to do, we're going to go and walk about now. Walk about to some buildings. As you can see there's an absolute brilliant building there. This used to be the old police station going back in probably 1950s. Uh, but it's, it's it's Victorian built is that look at look at that just look at the size of that I'll show you that fantastic building uh, Let's get some better shots of it Look at that for a building It's got some fantastic designs as that building, but like I said, this is the Where the old police station used to be and and show you some of the scrolling and designs absolutely amazing What a fantastic build See, quite a lot of it is not used now. Look at the scrolling design on that. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful design. This did a lot of workmanship in the uh, Victorian period, or that kind of eight, uh, 19th century, late 19th century period. Absolutely superb. Okay, here we go. So this is number one Market Street which is a new build and now we're just going to go through the the precinct of Nelson and this is the old building look at the marble pillars another entrance and up we go so we're in the middle of the precinct of of Nelson So Nelson Town, an old mill town. That's what we're famous for, Nelson. And we're going to go to some more old buildings. Some are not in use at all, which is a shame, really. It's a real shame that they're not in use whatsoever. 
But uh, we're going to the, uh, the first oldest pub in Nelson, which is called Lord Nelson. And uh, I think there's some sort of connection with the railway. That's why they call the pub ne Lord Nelson. And maybe related to, to that family. But here we are with the pub. So there we are, starting with the pub there, Lord Nelson. And if you can see, I'll just show you the sign. Lord Nelson, uh, the old building. I'll just finish off with the pub, at Lord Nelson pub, because it is absolutely fantastically built building with lots of design. But check this out. Look at that. What a building that is. Can't see much. I need camera growing. Oh, hi, you guys. Hiya. Look at that there. That is just immense building. Absolutely fantastic building that is. It really is. Beautifully built. Probably Victorian period, maybe even earlier. Lord Nelson Pub. And then we're going to take you to... To a old building that used to be a bank. It's all closed down now, which is a shame. And it used to be Barclays Bank. Barclays Bank, and it's got a beautiful clock on above it. Still working, I think. But look at that. What a building that is. And yet again, I think it's some, I think it's also, I think it's the period of Victorian period. Beautiful place, absolutely brilliant. That's the, an old bank, Barclays Bank. Okay, so that's, that's brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finish off with get, we'll get closer to the bank and see if there's any details on the bank. That's what we're going to do. Let's just check that out. So what a clock, what a clock. See if you can see any, any design, but if you can see, look at the workmanship there. They, they knew how to do the stuff in them days. Absolutely superb, look at that. Brilliant. Unfortunately, like I said, it's all closed down. Look at the columns and... I did tell you it was a mill town and what's happened is that one of the sculptors have actually designed the... Uh, designed a monotaph of, of, of sorts. So we've got in Nelson now a giant chuckle. You can just see a giant chuckle behind me. I'll, I'll get, give you the full picture. Look at the size of that. It's a giant shuttle. Represents the mill town. Huge. Hope it's light enough for you. Massive. Absolutely huge. I'm hoping you can get this. I'll try another locate, another position, because it seems a bit dark. Whether I've got the clouds in the way, I'm not really sure. And we've got like a, a inner circle where you can sit down in, during summertime and watch the people and the town go by. So I'm just walking on now. And there is the shuttle. <laughs> if you can see that, massive, giant, represent Nelson Beanie Mill Town, a mill town, superb. So that is Nelson, and I just thought, share my local town with you, you guys, and um, a bit of history. So Nelson, there we go. Well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you another time. See you later.